you when him open the door just walk out <laughs> say hallelujah Walking. Walk out. Keep walking. Keep walking. Walk it out. Just walk it out. God has walked it out. God has worked it out. God has worked it out. God has worked it out. Keep walk. Keep walking. Keep walking. Keep walking. Hey. Walk out. Walk out. Walk out. Walk out. One of the main reasons you and I are struggling with a lot of stuff is because we are forgetting that the word of God has already settled the matter concerning our concerns. Amen. You have to allow your faith to touch Jesus. You have to allow your faith. Lord Jesus, I wonder, hey, Kerry, you have to... Hey, you have to allow your faith, Birch. You have to, hey, you have to allow your faith to touch. You have to allow your faith, Auntie Jean. You have to allow your faith to touch. The, you remember the woman at the issue of blood? The Bible says, Elder said she pressed through the cloud and touched the hem. They have told us for years that she touched the hem of his garment. But in that Jewish custom, the rabbi wore a clothes. The rabbi's clothes had the word of God tied up at the hem of his garment. So when she touched Jesus, it was the word that she touched. Open your mouth and say, I'm going to I'm going to touch. I'm going to touch Jesus. Woo! I wonder who I'm here to preach to this morning. I'm really wondering who it is that God has sent me to talk to this morning. I wonder who it is that the Lord has sent me to talk to this morning. Who it is that God has asked me to come with this word for. Hey, Donna man. I wonder who. Hey, Michelle. I wonder who. Hey, who it is. Camille. When? Hallelujah. <laughs> We're not trying to light any bamboo fire in this church, you know. We are just going steadily one day at a time. Line upon line, precept upon precept. We're gonna teach and preach. We're gonna teach and preach. Man of God, we're gonna we're gonna preach and teach line upon line, precept upon and little by little, and we're gonna be building little by, we're building, we're building little by incrementally. Hey Lebron, increment we're building Bell, don't leave church. Hey, Roger, don't leave church today. Kachif, don't leave church today unless you settle it on your inside that I am going to develop my faith to a place where I'm going to use it to touch Jesus. I want to use it to touch Jesus for Paul, big daughter. I want to use it to touch Jesus for my own son, Stephen. Cedric, you have a big boy to the son. I want to use it to touch Jesus on the behalf of your big son. Whoever, whoever else has picked me inside, Whoever else inside you have some children where the devil want to mess up and mess with it. Um, now if you have two boys, I'm gonna I'm gonna extend my faith. Hey! Open your mouth and say, touch Lord! Come on, PDM say touch Lord Jesus. My belief, hey brother Wayne, we have, we have to come to Trenchtown, big man. My belief in what he says must touch him. The only reason we're not seeing more manifestation is because of the lack of faith. Every time him tell off him, boy, them around him, the disciples, he was always saying, what's wrong with you? Oh, ye of little faith. Oh, he's always telling them off. And he tells me something, that he's looking for us to have great faith. He's looking for us, come on, Dwight, to have what? Come on, Latoya, man. He's looking for us to have what? 
It means that we have to put our belief in everything that he says. Is anybody here in the house with me today? Mark 9, Mark chapter 9. I must go back to this story I shared with you about six weeks or so ago. Mark chapter 9. Mark chapter 9. Mark 9. This father has his son who was demonized and the demon keeps throwing the boy in places that would cause the spirit of suicide to take him out. Cast him in fire, in water. Let's pick up from verse 23. Let's pick up. Come on. Jesus said unto him, If thou canst... Where's Camille? back. Come on, sweetie. If thou canst believe... Come on, Casey. If thou canst believe... This man has had his son fully demonized for a long time. And Jesus is making the man know. Say, it's not such a big mountain. You don't have to travel to Florida or to Westmoreland to get where you want to fix what you want to fix. Him say, if thou canst believe. In that moment, everything becomes possible. Open your mouth and say, it's possible. So then what is holding me back then? What's holding us back then? What on earth is holding us back? That was verse what, 23? Come on, watch this now. And straightway the father of the child. Hold on a man, hold on, hold on. Say the power of the word. Oh man, say the power of the word. Come on, sister Nikki, say the power of the word. Watch me. Jesus spoke the words to the man. And the Bible says straight away. In other words, the man no make no time elapse. Him no go think about it. Him just put in belief in what Jesus said. Hey John, him put in belief in what Jesus said immediately. And the man said, what did he say? He cried out and said, with what? With tears. Lord, I believe. Help thou my what a man verse 25 come on what a man when jesus saw the people came running together he rebuked the foul spirit saying unto him thou dumb and deaf spirit i charge thee come out of him and enter no more into him i like that kind of deliverance session don't come back around here Brother Courtney, Sister Pat Lee, I want to ask the church a question this morning. I want to ask all of you who are born again and those who have not yet surrendered their lives to the Lord, I want to ask you, are you truly convinced? Hey, Auntie Barbara, that strong amen. I'm telling you, Barbara, if we are convinced as of this day, my dear sister Donna, as of this day, as of this day, hey, you, Oscar, if we, where is Salome? If we ever, if we ever, where is Nikisha? If we ever say we truly believe, as of this day, not one of us inside this room, lives will be, life will be the same ever again. Lord Jesus. Hey, Chang, are you convinced? No, it, it never took Jesus any 
big speech, he simply turned to the man and said to him, if you can believe, Jesus never said, if you can, you know, I may have all of the poor. No, Jesus says, if you, if you can believe that the word is who it says it is, if you can truly, I mean, I'm talking about feel good this morning, I know feel good later. If you can truly believe, all things are possible. If, 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 if we ever were to believe today that God and his word are one. That God and his word are one. So whatever the word promises. If you would wrap your belief around that. And don't make no storm and no hell or high water. Push you off of it. Just wrap your belief around that. And say this is what he says. And this is what he means. But you have to do it. Do it anti it. You have to do it while you're removing everything else that's blocking it. You have to do it. You have to put it. Hey, no, no, you have to do it, sweetheart, by making sure that you are a dense. You have to push away everything else where they come, they come touch panny, and they come distract you, and they come tell you something else, and they come, you, you understand? You have to push away everything else and make sure that you are single minded and you are, watch this, man, and you are grabbing on to what God say and nothing more. I just what God say, me, I say to. Remove unbelief. Remove doubt. Remove fear. Remove uncertainty. Eh? Remove uncertainty. Yeah, remove all the I wonder ifs. Get rid of all the I wonder ifs. Take him at his word for real. For the first time in your entire life. Take him at his word for real. Not only, watch this now, watch this now. Not only doing, during this period set aside for the time of worship today. Do it all the time. Don't, we don't, don't just feel good in church today because it looked like Pastor Carter preached a good word. No, 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 no. We, are, we have moved from milk to meat. You are meat Christians. No, you're not milk Christians. We are maturing saints now. So we're going to make sure so we handle this thing skillfully Amen. under God. Amen. Are you with me today? Is it making sense to you then? Yeah. I want you to take 15 seconds and bow your heads where you are and lock yourself into the truth of God's word and take a decision that that's where you're going to stay. You're going to make sure that you lock, lock yourself right there into it. Come on, church. Everyone, if you're willing, if you're willing, you're not being forced to, if you're willing, if you're willing, we are determined today. Lord have mercy. Come on, Shauna, man. We are determined today that we're not going to walk by sight. We're going to walk by what? By, by faith. And faith comes by hearing. We're not walking by sight. We're not. We're not. I don't care how bad the situation is. I am making a conscious decision that this is going to be about God and the devil can't kill me. The devil, you can't take my life. You can't mad me. You can't, no, you can't mess with me. I don't care what is falling apart around me. I am, I am, I am laying hold on this thing. Oh God. Somebody's life is is, is being transformed. Somebody is moving. This is not, this is not wall upon floor and shake up self. No, you know, this is for real. This is happening deep down. Hey, Birch, this is happening deep down on the inside. It's my inside that God is fixing. God is fixing my character. He's fixing my spirit. He's just fixing me from the inside. Come 
Come on, Sir Patterson. Come on. Come on. Come on, Kachif. Come. Fix it. Fix it. Nicholas, fix it. Alonzo, fix it. When you lift your head up, I'm going to tell you how it's done. There's nothing, there's no magic to it. When you raise your heads back up, I'm, Pastor is going to make an attempt to tell you how to do it. When you're passing, read our board and you'll see one of, one of the things that we're committed to doing is practical preaching. I'm going to tell you how to do it. I'm going to tell you how it's done. Come back with me, everyone. Come back with me now. Hear this. Hear this. You have to take a firm decision today that you are going to learn the fine art, watch me now, of putting your faith in the grace. My what? My, my what, ma'am? God says his grace is sufficient. So all you need to do, you and I, all we need to do is to put our faith in what grace has already provided. Only Matthew or Christian we can talk to today. Lord Jesus. Hey, Sister John, you have to put your whole belief system in what has already provided has already been provided. In other words, God isn't planning, Denise, that he's going to go into his top drawer and pull out something for Chayon. No, it has already been pulled out and it's there. So, you... You know, Sister Bell, if you ask your father for something that he doesn't have at current, he will say, honey, when we get pay month then, or we have one big bill on my hand, I go and clear it month then, and then October month then, I get it for you. No, don't mix up God with your stupid father. Don't mix up God with me and your fool, fool father. Are you understanding me? Let's listen, the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, the cattle and a thousand hill is his. Hey. Put your faith in the grace. Let me tell you how it works. Grace makes it possible. And faith brings it to pass. God, my friend, is who he says he is. God is whom he says he is. To receive exactly that which the word says. If you want to receive exactly that which the word says God has already provided. We just need to simply start believing for real. Amen. For, real. for what sir? Amen. For real. Amen. Galatians 3. Galatians 3.13 I'm going to mad you with this verse but we're going to go home we're going to go home soon I'm mad you with this verse Galatians chapter 3 13 watch this Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law being made a curse for us for it is written cursed is everyone that hang is on a tree. You will never get hung on a tree. Christ took your place. And that means that the curse is broken. The curse is broken. The curse is broken. Shut up devil. The curse is broken. Shut up. The curse is broken. The curse is broken. I believe it. The curse is broken. I'm going to access my faith. What grace has already bought. Amen. 
Oh God. Isaiah 53. Isaiah 53, 4 and 5. Listen, everyone together, say with me. Surely. Yep. Say, but. Say, but. But. He was wounded. Yes. And hey, the chastisement of our peace was upon him. The chast listen, the chastisement of our peace was on him, not on us. It was on him. The chastisement. Somebody has told us that we have to mix grace and law to feel so we really walk with God. We don't need no law. I am not on the law. I am on the grace. That's what the Bible tells me. What you're going through, I know God put it by you. I know God make you camp here your light bill. I know God make the vibes that happen to you. It's the devil's work. And we come to break it this morning. It's the devil's work. It's the devil's work. We break it in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and say break. break. Say break. break. Say it five times. Come on. Break. Come on. Break. Come on. Come on, church! Yes! So then, so then, since we know that the thing has already been given by His grace, all we now need to do is to access it by faith. Just access it by faith. Faith in him who is the living word. One of the main reasons you and I are struggling with a lot of stuff is because we are forgetting that the word of God has already settled the matter concerning our concerns. The word, where's Kimani? The word of God, sir, has already settled. Psalm 1, what now? Psalm 1, 119, I think. Am I there yet? Maybe not. Psalm 119 and verse 89. I must read that. Psalm 119 and verse 89. The word of God has already, all the people who go to school and know better more than me in English, business here. Watch this now. The word of God has already settled the matter concerning our many concerns. Let's read. Verse 89 says what? Forever O Lord thy word is where? Woo. Just open your mouth and say thy kingdom come. Come on, man. Say, thy kingdom come now. Kingdom come. All right. Say it this way. Say, kingdom of God come. Kingdom of God come. Say, say, kingdom of God come. In Jesus' name. Come with healing. Come with deliverance. Set us free. Set us free. And disappoint the plans of the enemy. The come on. Say, disappoint the plans of the enemy, Lord. Speak to yourself and say, I command you to live. Come on, Fitzroy. I command. I live. You know what? Let's go to Romans 10, 17 and let's go home. Romans 10 and verse 17 and let's wrap this thing up and look towards home. I want to prove the point I've been trying to make all morning from the scriptures. That faith comes by hearing the word. Faith just doesn't come by hearing. It comes by hearing word. Let's stand together, everybody, and read. Everyone, just put your stuff down. Take your time. We're going to read. We're going to close. Everyone. Hey, 
bury this in your spirit. Nick, bury this in your spirit. Bury this in your spirit. And fight off the devil with this. It is your faith that fights for you. Here we go. So then, faith comes by hearing. And hearing by the word of God. If you know anything that God has said, my encouragement to you as we go from church today, put your faith in what grace has already made possible. Hey, you see the change that you're so desperately longing for in your life? Nothing else can bring it for real but you. But men go on church and they will pray for me. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. But you're not convinced. If you were convinced, you would have been committed to the one who has made the things available through his grace. Amen. Let's bow our heads in reflection today. Let's bow our heads in deep reflection. I'm deliberately using the word deep because it's time you stop being shallow. God did not call you to be a shallow Christian. Unless you're not saved, nothing. But if you are saved, God did not call you. When we baptize you, that is no proof that you're saved. And you have to know if you have truly surrendered your life to the Lord. Come on. Come on. Let's reflect deeply. You might need to be speaking under your breath. You might need to be repeating something. You might need to convince your own mind that I believe, I believe, I believe. I have no other to put my faith in. I believe, I believe. I believe. And under your breath, tell yourself that you're going to change your own life. All you're going to do is to Plant your faith in what God says. You're going to plant yourself on what God says. And you are going to watch and, and see the manifestation. There are some people who are struggling and you look at them. Their lives have never changed. For as long as you've known them, they're at one station. And them things say, I see it and they do it. And I see it and they do nothing. You have to move your life. The devil is not greater than God. You have to take charge of your life and move your life from where it is to where it needs to be. You have to plant your faith in what God says. Put your faith in the grace. Put your faith in the grace. The word of God. The word of God. The word of God spoken. The word of God written. The word of God incarnate. You have to put your faith in the grace. My friends, it's a real pleasure for us bringing this to you. Stay tuned and continue watching. Feel free to send a love gift to help us with these messages. Our Scotiabank account number is 1006 May God bless you and your family richly.